Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there has been a ton of talk here recently about the different versions of PS4 Hen VTX versus Gold Hen. And while you can look at a number of these different charts, you know, to tell what features which one includes, I wanted to show you a bit of the power of PS4 Hen VTX if you're running a version that maybe isn't so popular. So let me go ahead and explain. So if you take a look over at Gold Hand and you scroll down a little bit in the latest releases, what you'll see here is, is that there is supported firmware and it is 5.05, 6.71, 6.72, you know, 9.0, 9 9.60, 10, and 11. All of these are very extremely popular firmwares, which means that these firmwares get the priority when it comes to like adding new features and then really getting support from something such as Gold Hand, which does come with all of these amazing features right here. So what if, for example, you were on a firmware such as 8.50 and you still wanted to be able to run some game backups and have some features, but you don't want to update to 9.00 in order to enjoy Gold Hen. Well, there has been this project right over here, by Echo Stretch and Best Pig on Twitter. And what this is, is a fully implemented kernel exploit for PS4 with Hen. And let's just say that you're on 8.50. And then we're going to go over to releases and we are going to select the version that fits our PlayStation 4 that we're trying to run this exploit on. So mine is going to be on 8.50 and I'm going to use this version right here, which is 1.0194. So I'm going to go to assets and I'm going to download this right here. And let's take a look at the contents inside. Okay, and so once you look at the zip file here, you're going to have this bin file. We're just going to go ahead and click right here and we're going to rename that to just payload.bin and then just go ahead and insert a USB drive. We're just going to drag and drop this into the root of our USB drive. Then you're going to have the stage two folder and then you'll be able to select between the normal version or the no Blu-ray drive version. And then for the PP Pawn PS4 loader, you're going to just want to make sure that your stage two points towards that bin file. So mine right here has stage two 8.50. Okay, now we're ready to proceed. Okay, so I have a PlayStation 4 right here that is on 8.50. So we can jump right in here into system, system information. We can see this one's right here at 8.50. So now at this point, what we need to do is we need to make sure that there's an Ethernet cable between your PlayStation 4 and your PC if you are going to use the PP Pawn PS4 loader. Once you do that, you're just going to need to make sure that you come back over in here into settings and then network, and then set up an internet connection and make sure that that says use a LAN connection use a LAN cable, and then we're going to go custom, and we're going to go PPPOE. We're going to put something in there for the username and the password. This is going to be automatic, automatic, and then do not use. And then we're going to go ahead and go back. So now what I found is kind of the easiest thing is just to go back in here and just restart your PlayStation 4. And again, make sure your Ethernet cable is connected between your PS4 and your PC. And while this is booting up, as you can see right here, I have the stage 2 that is for 8.50.bin loaded up into PP Pawn PS4 loader. This is the loader by Modded Warfare. I do have this set for Ethernet and then 8.50. And we're just going to go ahead and press Run Exploit here. And just to help kickstart it, I just went ahead and went over to the test internet connection. And let's see if this gets us there a little bit faster. Now, as this is working, I do have a USB drive inside of my PlayStation 4 with the payload.bin file on it. So as soon as it finishes with stage two here, as we can see right there, it just finished. 
Now, there we go. PP Pond payload injected successfully. Welcome to PS4 Hen version 2.13. Very, very cool. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we're going to go to system and then system information. And there is no indication that tells you that this is running as we might have seen, you know, previously with Gold Hen, for example. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to go back here and we'll just go back again and we'll go out of settings and then we'll go back into settings. And there it is, debug settings, which is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so let's begin by trying to install a PlayStation 4 game. Let's start with Minecraft. So I've went ahead and inserted a USB drive that has Minecraft on it. So we're just going to go ahead and install those first. So I'm going to install the base package right here. And then we need to install the 2.72 update as well as the back port. So this back port does say that it is 5.05, 6.72, 7.x, and 8.x, obviously. So we're at 8.50. So this game should run perfectly fine on this system. Okay, the moment of truth here, and we will navigate to Minecraft. We have Minecraft running right now on an 8.50 system, and we didn't have to update it to 9.00 in order to get there. And there we go. It's got my username as Crump YouTube. And if I just go back here and I go to information, I can see this is running 2.72. And this one did have a required firmware of 10.71. Now, the history of this doesn't go back where I can see what the base was for 1.0, but I can guarantee that it was underneath the version 8.50, which is what my console is currently running on right now. Okay, so now why don't we try a very recent game it came out that's very near and dear to me because I absolutely love the game, which is Contra Operation Galuga. So what we want to do is we want to see if that installs on this 8.50 system and then see if it's playable. Now, as you can see right here, this one that I have added is a add-on. The second one right here, this is the base package. You may be familiar with that name at the end of it. And then right here is the update. So I will spare you the installation screen because I went ahead and already installed it. So here I've got Contra. And if I go down to information, you can see that this is running 1.04. And if I go to the add-ons, you can see the early purchase bonus. So from here on this system, I can go ahead and launch this wonderful game. So there it is. We have Contra running and again back over here in settings and system and then system information. I'm on an 8.50 machine. That is absolutely so cool. So I do believe there's a ton of value in this for those that for whatever reason that they might have doesn't want to update to one of the more popular firmwares and this is going to give you at least that. Now, as far as game compatibility runs, Echo Stretch did a edit for 8.50, so I could make this video. He said all the other firmwares will be coming very, very soon. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Michael.